my left leg. Um, I got a couple of things that I want to go over with you. Um, Okay, um, first off, you might run into your counterpart, um, uh, karmic, and your, your karmic, um, today. Um, for some reason, I'm, I'm thinking that the counterpart, um, has went to jail for a hit and run, okay? Um, there's this feeling I got. Okay, um, this is a scenario that I that I thought of. It just uh, I don't know. It came up to me. Okay, seeing this the karmic um, twice today, and I've only been out twice today. I went to the same same store twice today and seen the karmic both times. So um, it, it it triggered something. I don't know. Um, but they're not together no more. Now, I, I'm telling you, I just did a reading and it, it, the phone shut off. But um, the phone shut off at like two minutes. So I did a full reading, like a thirty minute reading. Um, and it was showing something to that effect. Um, the, ca the counterpart may be in jail or run in front of police. All right? Um, because um, I, the counterpart didn't actually do um, the hit and run. The counterpart has somebody driving the vehicle that wasn't supposed to be driving the vehicle because the karmic and the counterpart got into it. And the counterpart left and went and got somebody, but they was on drugs. Um, didn't feel like they could drive. They let this other somebody drive, and this other somebody was on drugs and had drugs on them and hit somebody. Um, I want to say that they hit somebody that was walking down the road. Okay. Um, his counterpart and, and, and Karmic um, um, not together right now? She says, yes, they're not. Okay. Um, are they in separation because of a hit and run? A hit and run? Okay, the counterpart was involved in the hit and run, correct? It's like hesitating. Yes, they was. Was the counterpart driving the vehicle, um, or was the counterpart just in the was the counterpart just in the vehicle? Was the counterpart just in the vehicle? Yes, and took the blame. Counterpart took the blame. For the hit, for the hit and run, stop. Because there was drugs involved, there was drugs in the vehicle. Yes. So they they took off. Okay, stop. Is the counterpart in jail or is the counter is the counterpart running? Is the counterpart running from the police? No. Is the counterpart already in jail? Counterparts in jail, y'all, for hit and run, and they didn't even do it. Somebody else did it. I'm telling you, I'm getting these hits. Um, your karmic collective wants to talk to you, but still putting on a um, a false face. Okay. Um, uh, when I saw that uh, that person, I didn't even realize until I was getting out of my car, and they come out the door and going look over like that and like double take and then nod at you. I ain't, don't nod at me. Don't don't think. Don't think my name. Don't speak my name. Nothing. Okay? Nothing. Like I never existed in your life. Okay? Um, and, 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 and that'll be done with that. That'll be the done with the done the end part of that. I'm just never ever speak my name again. I don't care who you're talking to. My family or anybody. Don't speak my name again ever in your life. Okay? This is partnership. <laughs> this is what they want to talk about. <laughs> Okay, it says, um, teamwork will give you better results. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. Okay, so go out and find your soul tribe. That's what the unicorns are telling you. Okay, um, because the partners... Okay, here's my vision of it. Okay, you have two choices, or three choices. You can go with the karmic that screwed you over. Um, so they can keep screwing you over because they're going to keep doing the same exact thing over and over and over and over and over again, thinking they're going to get different results, okay? Um, you can go with the counterpart, um, but they're in jail, they're unattainable, and they, and they really, I mean, they need some growing up or something to do um, if they hadn't contacted you and shit by now and all the um, work and stuff that you've been putting in. Um, or you can go out 
and seek a new life. Okay, um, everybody got choices. Everybody. And nobody can make that choice for you but you because you got free will. A gift from God. He only gave it to us humans. We're the only ones that's got it. Free will. Angels don't have free will. Um, um, animals don't have free will. We're the only ones that's got free will. Period. Okay, past lives. Partnerships and past lives. Y'all, it's telling you to release the past life and move forward, move ahead. Okay, these unicorns are facing away from this past life. Okay, they're not facing this past life. You see, you hear what I'm saying to you? Okay, it says release the past lives. You are, you are an old and why and you're old with and you're an old soul with deep wisdom. Okay, healing your past lives will raise your vibration. Okay, heal the past lives, release it, let it go. Don't let that circle keep. Going round and round and round and round and round. Um, these are generational curses. Your mama did it, or your or your daddy, your grandma, your grandpa, or so on and so forth. Um, somebody did the same exact thing that you're doing. The same exact shit. It might be even with the same exact fucking kind of karmic. Um, the same exact thing keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. You got to stop it. Okay. You have to put a rest to this past. Um, you're going to have to put a rest to it. Okay? Freedom. I'm telling you, live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. Okay? Um, she was... Okay, they're running beside each other and, and happy and joyful. They're going to look for their soul tribe. Okay? Saying bye-bye to this past bullshit. All it's been is karmic. That's it. Think about your past. I want you to sit and think about it for one second. It don't take very long. Think about your past. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're old, young, whatever. Think about your past. Has it not been karmic? How come you failed in all these relationships that you're, that you're good as gold and loyal and good? I mean, you don't... You have your little mishaps or whatever, but compared to what they've done to you, you know... Um, it's because of, past, of things that happened in the past. Okay? Now, they're telling you to claim who you are. Your trueness. Go see the sun. Go fly in the clouds. Um, go have adventures. Live your life. Have a great time. Okay? Um, these two guys are looking... There's three of them, actually. But these two right here, Partnership and Freedom, they're looking to the future. Um, this past one is facing you and looking to the past. You understand? It's making you face the past. You have to face the past. Go into your crown chakra and your um, truth together. And say, okay, what is my truth? My past has been karmic. Very karmic. And I don't deserve that. Um, I'm deserving of what the universe has for me. These karmic people have blocked me from my happiness. Think about it. Okay. Um, you have anything else to say to collective um, unicorns? It says balance. Okay, balance. It says take time to relax. Indulge a little more or a little less. It says set boundaries with your work. Okay, you're, you're going through a transformation like taking baby steps. Then baby steps. Baby steps to the office. Baby steps to the desk. Baby steps to the thing. You're taking baby steps in recovering, the, I mean, in um, healing this past life. Um, because they're both face, facing the the past, these two are facing the future, and both of these are facing you, telling you, as collective, to release this past shit. Okay, um, what you don't see on the bottom of the deck, you're a goddess. Embrace your goddess within. Okay, every part of you is beautiful, inside and out. Um, and 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 divine is watching over your your. Divine's helping you to realize something. Okay. It says, um, honor your, honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. Okay, that's what you don't see. You're not seeing the love that you, that, give yourself the love that you want to give somebody else, um, first. Because if you love yourself, you're able to love others. 
If you don't love yourself, well, how do you expect somebody else to love you if you can't even love yourself? I mean, that's just, that's a, that's a question. Okay, um, no, not them. Okay. They say pull some of these. Okay, um, says, um, Counterpart wants to say something to you. Counterpart wants to say something to you, Collective. I don't know why. It's Counterpart, but that's what they say. I said, um, where the eye of the tiger. Look, that's on this necklace right here. Um, this has been coming out a shit ton, y'all. This, this tiger and tiger's eye and that subject of the tiger's eye. Um, tiger's eye is going to bring balance. Um, it's going to help you balance out your emotions about the situation. Um, it, it, it helps you open up your sacral chakra, which is that color right there. Um, that's where you're going to find your balance. It's in the very center. Okay? Right there. Your gut instinct. Okay? Um, the eye of the tiger. Go for what you want. Okay, hold on. This is star. Okay, I thought, the, I thought that went off. Ha ha ha. Golly. This is your star, baby. Okay? Um, you're, you are the eye of the tiger. You are that star in that tiger's eye, okay? That, that tiger sees you as a star, I'm telling you. Love, Doug, your soulmate. They see you as a star. It says finish, finish, don't stop. Keep going the distance, okay? Don't, don't stop. It says something is annoying. Something, this is a gnat. or something um, annoying about it, okay? It says somebody, somebody was bought. Somebody was bought. Wait. It says the magician. So, somebody bought magic to put on you, Collective. Somebody bought magic to put on you. Paid a lot of money to make this magic work on you, and it didn't. Um, something in your eyes. They see stars in your eyes. Somebody see stars in your eyes. That's what they told me to say. Um, it says just breathe. Okay? Just breathe. Right. It says, um, dim. Um, your light's not shining. They're saying that your light, you've blocked them. Um, they can barely see your light, um, because you blocked them. It says, you're, you have a strong light, and why is it dim right now? Okay, um, because you need to take out it. says, uh, they regret the way they did you, man. It says, chakra work, please wait. Um, they want you to wait, um, and um, get your uh, chakras. They're trying to get their chakras in um, in alignment too. Tiger's eyes helping them. Um, the sacred chakra. Um, um, people people tend to go against their gut instinct for some reason. Okay, and that's the biggest guide that they got. Okay, and um, they go against it. Their gut instinct. Um, your divine, your counterpart is telling you that they knew. Their gut instinct told them uh, they was in love with you at first sight, period. It says, when someone says you can't do it, do it twice and take pictures. You're a star, okay? And and you, you've you risen so high, and this, um, this counterpart can't even believe. I mean, they're proud of you, I got to say. And Divine's proud of you, too. Um, you guys have really been putting in the work. Y'all go out and ground yourselves in nature. You listen to music. You're very creative. I can feel it. Um, very creative. Um, in touch with... <sighs> been knowing yourself and, and learning new things about yourself because of knowing yourself so deeply. I've been learning new things about yourself that astound you. You can't believe it. You're like... I knew I could do this. I was blocking this great thing about me. I was blocking this great thing. The karmics all my life was blocking this great thing about me. Um, and then you started looking at like um, old, um, uh, like old, um, started like past lives, looking over old memories and stuff like that and going, okay, like your ancestor could sing, like your ancestor was a, a paid singer, went out and got paid to sing. And they've taught, they kept you so, because you know, singing, everybody has the ability to sing, everybody. They're giving it to, um, by God, um, to sing praises to the Lord, okay? Um, so, all it is is a muscle. And if you practice it every day, sing karaoke in your house by yourself, whatever. Sing in the shower. Sing while you cook. 
Um, if you keep practicing it, um, you don't have to do it every day, but practice it um, on a regular basis. You'll get better and better, just like playing a guitar, playing a piano, riding a bicycle, driving, any of that. Um, it'll, it'll build up better and better, just like your spirit. You keep putting positive on your spirit, it's like you're doing exercises for your in your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're you're building your spirit to stronger. Okay. Um. So what we got here? We got Larn. We got the number five and six. Somebody might be 56. Um. Somebody might be 59. Um. Somebody might be 95, or somebody might be 65. Okay. Um, something about Larn. It looks like it's trying to say loan. Okay, someone, someone gave someone a loan, and they're going to get paid back. Um, because the person ran. Okay, um, I don't know why I only gave, it says you need to rest, um, because you're about to, you're about to go on a, like a trip. Okay. 6L5. I don't know why I'm saying that, y'all. 6L5. And I seen Laura too. The word, the name Laura or Lauren. It's Laura or Lauren. Okay. Um, I also seen the word rule. Like wants to rule. Okay. Um, r somebody ran though. They sure did. Yeah. Okay. So. Says Arlen. Look, that's crazy. That's crazy. It says Arlen. That, that triggers something in me. What does Arlen got to say? What does Arlen got to say? Destiny? I. Rom? I Romba? <laughs> that's what it looks like he says. I'm. I Romba. I Rombi. Rombie. Rombie. Morb. Morbid. Something is morbid. Um, a brother. You have a morbid brother. <laughs> Somebody's trying to rob you. A mob. Yep. Something is on to the rim. To, to the top. It's, it's to the rim. It's something that's getting boring. Something's getting boring, y'all. And the orbs are telling you. Okay, it says, I'm orb. That's our, that's granddad. Um, destiny. Um, saying something is getting boring. Um, it's time, like, to move on. Okay. Thank you, granddad. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, um, ancestors. Thank you, um, uh, divine um, I appreciate collective too um, for liking and subscribing it helps me so much when y'all hit that thumbs up and stuff um, you, you, if y'all if can't see um, my energy gets more built and more built the more I get on here and do this because um, there's more people liking and stuff um, and I'm able to pick up on different things besides just um, the twin flame connection and stuff like that I'm able to to, to like reach out and pick up on things that need to be um, touched in order to be healed and or the truth is is healing y'all truth and love those are the two biggest healers there ever was in this world okay when you can accept the truth about yourself you're able to to accept the truth in others um you're able to see their truth um and they and, and you can see like a walking lie detector <laughs> okay and even though that things happen to you because you want to see the good um you got to see the truth too you understand? Um, it's a, it's a balancing act. You got to see the truth. You can't just see what you want to see. Um, that's not for the highest good. Okay. Um, it says, "Study to show thyself approved unto God." Thy word is the truth. That's Second Tim two fifteen and John seventeen seventeen. Let's see what seventeen seventeen means um, as far as angel number, because that right there triggered me. It's eight thirty three on the clock, y'all. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Angel number 1717, please. It says Belize. It sent it to me in Belize. It says, 
1717 is a positive affirmation and good vibes are associated with angel number 1717. For prim four primary messages from heavens can be found in the number 1717. Okay, but I have to hit that home. It can be used as a warning that you're deviating from your path and are no longer heading towards your life goal. That's why it's saying thy word is thy truth. What am I talking about? The truth and all that before I was reading this, y'all. Okay? I was telling you, the truth and love is the only thing that's going to set you free. Okay? And and he's saying, this saying is um, that you need to get more in, back into the word, into um, the belief, into the faith of of. Listen, there's some people that can go to church and be hypocrites and all this other crap, okay? And just horrible. And go to church to show off their new dress or hat or um, shoes or whatever, okay? And there's some people that can never go to church and pick up the Bible and it really touch them and feel it um, deeply and read their Bible daily and live that life of humble um, and, and healing and wanting to help others and things like that, okay? Um, and it touches them. That's that's the true church. The, 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 that's the speaking to God. Um, when you open up um, to that spirit, okay, when you open up to that loving, kind spirit, um, just opening up to it is speaking to the divine, okay? Um, it's telling the universe and divine that you're wanting to communicate, okay? Um, and they're going to communicate back with you because they know you want to communicate. Okay, um, so don't doubt that, and 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 is asking you to to talk to your higher powers. Okay, um, talk to them. It says seventeen seventeen is all about independence and the fresh starts. You will often see it when you have been going through a difficult period. Okay, um, so the truth is going to set you free and and let you have a brand new start, y'all. Um, so I hope y'all paying attention. Hope you're paying attention. Okay, um, angle number two fifteen. 215 is, um, th that was from 2nd Tim, 215. Um, that's two twos anyway, but it says, When you keep seeing 215, the divine realm is telling you to get rid of negative thoughts. When I say love and, and truth, okay? Be truthful with yourself and say, okay, is this the way I want to feel? This is the way this person makes me want to feel. Um, so, uh, do I, this is, is this how I want to feel? Okay? Um, and ask yourself, okay? And when you're able to tell yourself the truth, it's easy to tell the truth to anybody else, okay? <laughs> All right, so um, I guess I'm going to... Let me see how much time I got left on there because I don't want to run over or it won't let me play it. Oh, I got plenty of time, y'all. Um, what... Is there anything y'all want me to do? <laughs> like you can just tell me. Yeah? Y'all, yeah, okay. It says magic. How in the hell, y'all? Look, I picked this up halfway. This came out last night. I believe in magic. I see evidence of, the, of it all the time. And though the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible or ordinary, I'd rather not ruin the fun. Other people can fill their days with mere coincidences. I fill mine with, holy crap, that's unbelievable. I love it. <laughs> magic. Your true magic is that, that um, awe of like childlike, um, looking at nature like the first time you ever seen it. Okay, um, that's what your true magic is. It says connections. There's some kind of soulmate or past life connection that needs to be taken care of, okay? It says, I'm connected to the multitudes and I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather or hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, everyone is waiting to connect, okay? Everyone. All we need to do is open open ourselves up and pay attention. Note to self, work on the witty banter about weather-related stuff. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, connections and magic. Okay, study to show thyself approved unto God. Okay, um, if you're doing the action, um, okay, as you wish means I love you by my actions. You don't have to speak words. Generosity. Okay. It's a little bee rabbit giving a hippo a dang um, present. Now, hippos are one of the most powerful, dangerous animals on the earth. Believe that, okay? And this little rabbit's giving it to this hippo. This hippo's, I'm taking it out of his hand. It says, um, 
I give generously to those around me, no matter how much or how little I have. I know there's more than enough to go around and that the key is to allow it to keep going around without stopping. If I stop the flow, I'm like the one person at the stadium who doesn't do the wave. <laughs> okay, it says get centered on the next one. I'm not going to keep reading these because I, no. Okay, um, what do you need collective? It's about time. I mean, it's like about time for it to. Okay, what do you need collective to know before I go just turn off the. What you want collective to know? It says confidence is your key to success. The answers you need are coming. Leo and Gemini. Um, anything else? Adjustments are required. What are the adjustments that are required? I need to bring love into this situation. Okay, well, you've been another sacral chakra color and, um, and the crown chakras again, along with the truth. Look, two blues with the truth, four crown chakras. Use your spirit guide and use your gut instinct. I'm telling you, there's five cards with purple on it, okay? Um, what you don't see on the bottom of the deck, hold your vision. Um, some kind of duality is coming. Okay, there's a falcon on TV. Okay, um, light and love to you. Um, if you like the video, um, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the page. And um, I love you, Collective. I appreciate everything you do, all the support that you give me. And um, see you on the flip side. Oh, and I plan on doing a, a reading about um, the, the plot to kill Collective. Um, next.